Reactive and generative visuals have always been one element of live performance that I've been fascinated with. When I started learning Max 15 years ago, the visual functionality in the application, called Jitter, was an instant source of inspiration and excitement. In recent years, Cycling74 has made audio and video synthesis much more accessible through their Beep and Busy modular macros. By combining the audio input module in Beep with the visual synthesis flexibility of Busy, we can inject CV from a hardware modular into any visual patch easily. Our first challenge in controlling visuals in the computer with an analog hardware synth is getting CV signals to interface with the computer. We'll need to use a DC coupled audio interface to input the signal. Any one should work. I'm going to use the Roland Scooper since the EFX modules double as audio interfaces. The EFX modules aren't all that useful to send signals from the computer back to the modular, but they're perfect for sending signals from the modular into the computer. I'll route a sequence from the DU Seek to a buffered mult, splitting the signal to the Maleco anti oscillator as well as the first GRF input on the scooper. I'll route the oscillator through a VCA and out to the mixer so we can hear the signal. In Max, I'll create a new patcher and check the audio status in the options menu. I'll make sure the Roland IRA is selected as my input device. Just be sure to select your DC coupled interface here. In the patcher, I'll scroll down the icons on the left hand panel to the beep menu. I'll select it and then click the input submenu. I'll select the input device from the menu and drag it into the patcher. This module brings audio into the application as a control signal for the beep virtual modular synth environment. However, since we're going to be creating reactive visuals, we'll need to convert that incoming beep control signal into Visi data. I'll look under the Visi menu directly above the beep menu and scrolling through, we should see Beep Converter. Let's bring that into our patch as well, and connect the out from the input device to the input on the converter. Notice that we can tell the converter what the range and polarity of our incoming CV signal is. There's also a MIDI signal input for use. More on that in another video. Time to create a very simple video synth. Under the Visi menu, I'll look in the Generator submenu for the pattern mapper. Once the module has been dragged into the patch, we can hover over it or its inputs for more details about them. This device generates interesting patterns based on common math functions. Let's go back into the Visi menu, select the output submenu, and load a projector into our patch. I'll connect the output from the pattern mapper to the input on the projector, and we should see a pattern in the floating screen. Let's connect the output from the beep converter to one of the inputs on the mapper. I'll make sure the input device is set to the correct input on the scooper, in this case, input 5. I'll connect it to the first input on the mapper, and we should see some instant change. As the sequence rises and falls, the function used to generate the pattern changes. If we alter the sequence on the DU Seek, we should see a completely different sequence of visual patterns as well. From here, we can start experimenting with Visi by popping effects in between our mapper and projector modules. We can duplicate our input and converter combination and set up multiple inputs to mutilate and deform any input source. What kind of reactive visuals are you generating with your system? Tell us about it, or better yet, link us to some examples in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.